Hello guys, what we have today is uh, iPad Pro 9.7 inch and the model number is uh, A1673. So these have got common problem which is um, not charging. Not charging problem on this iPad is first thing is the charging port which you have to look at it don't replace the charging port without knowing that it's the charging port or something else the next thing is usual u2 charging ic so this one we don't know if it's uh, the charging port or if it's the charging ic so first thing we will look at it is let's find out Okay, so I will put the multimeter uh, here. Yeah. And then, can you see? Yep. Okay. So before I do that, um, you have to have some sort of uh, board layout or symmetric. Let's look here. So this is uh, iPad Pro 9.7 inches Wi-Fi board layout. So these are the lines which are grounded and this I know these ones all should read. These are 5 volt line. So, yeah. So, David, we re haven't, haven't we received two, or uh, is it in this order? Yeah, in this order. Oh, yeah, I think they are, they have already dispatched it yesterday. Okay. So, we are expecting within a week time. Another way. Hmm. Okay. So, these are 5 volt line. These ones. So, uh, let's check if we are getting 5 volt here. Okay. So, go back. Yeah. So let's figure out if we are getting five volt. This is ground, and I think uh, these are number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it number eight? See, three point eight. 3.8, 3.8, So now with this, I got a little bit of idea that instead of um, getting five volt there, we are getting 3.8, which is not sufficient to charge this iPad so the first thing we will be doing is replacing the charging port and uh, you know these charging ports are micro soldering so I will show you how to remove and then solder it back so start it so the first thing we will be doing in this situation is to print these pads why we are tinting it so that with the low melt solder is so that we can bring the temperature of the solder which is already there factory solder uh, bring the temperature down so that it's easier to melt them when we are taking them out anyway so let's tint them no, I think you charge the um, the other tablet. Tint them well. Okay. Hoping that we are bringing the temperature down. Next thing is, let's put a little bit weight. Okay. And now get the gun. I mean heat gun. Okay, and put some, okay, there you go, and now we will remove it, 
Okay, so don't pull too hard. Uh, can you see? It's sort of like melting now. I'm just waiting a bit from my hardware station so that I know I have reached the desired temperature. I hope I'm not pushing it too hard. Let's see once we have taken our just the last you see the other. Maybe it's also good. That's why maybe. Yeah, it looks like uh, it's all. It is just like glue which is holding it. I hope so. Let's see underneath. Oh, just the glass one. Yeah, I was right. Okay, so next thing we will be doing is uh, using the um, what you call it solder brick so that I can remove, I can clean the pack. like we have done it without breaking anything which is good okay now isopropyl So we have to remove any old glue there so that we have got a clean and flat area. Yep, 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 all good. So hit me. Yep, that's all done. And now we will get the new charging cord. So I gave it a little bit more clean and um, so that we have got very clear connectors and um, no oxidation on it. Which way does it go this way? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just aligning the windows like this, like place, and we will put a little bit of flux on it now. So just a little bit of flux, and then I have already tinted. my soldering garden and then I'm just going along 
nicely making sure I'm not moving it here and there and I'm also just looking if the solder is melting and um, just few left and that's all done yes so the next thing we have to check is we are getting five volt there we might not be getting five volt there sometimes i have realized that if u2 ic uh, is faulty that you will get the effect on the charging port terminals as well it happens sometimes but first of all we have to uh, replace the charging port so now we will check if we have got the 5 volt on the terminals where we were getting 3.8 volt so charging port has been replaced let's check what we are getting on 5 volt line oh where is the cable So, I will get the cable here now, so, yeah, let's see, <laughs> you can see, okay, so this is all ground, so one, two, we are getting nothing okay same 3.8 doesn't make any difference even after replacing the charging port so guys uh, charging port been replaced but uh, we are still getting 3.8 volt i think uh, that is the charging u to ic as well which we have to replace and i think the part number on this charging ic is a 161a3 so let's replace the charging port now on uh, iPad Pro 9.7. So guys, this is the charging IC on iPad Pro which we are doing. So the part number is 1610A3 which is the same as uh, iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. So let's take out the IC and then put another one that hopefully now should uh, fix the charging problem if it's not due to IC after replacing then it might be something else so we will figure out what it is so set the temperature I think you got a pretty good view there. Okay. So sometimes this happened um, because before we go into major sur surgery, we have to look at the other problems like we have done replacing the charging port because if we are not getting enough voltage from where the line is existed or started then of course we have to look into that part anyway so
this is out and the next thing we have to do is to give it a clean I think I can show you here yep you got pretty good view here okay so okay let's as you know guys I'm not a big fan of using solar braid here because I don't want to be harsh, harsh with them so what next I can do is to put a little bit of solar paste here I don't want to spread it over and I don't go there uh, as you can see what I'm doing now is just giving a little bit of clean I think you can look here yeah, yeah. I think I will remove this um, captain tape thing that's blocking your view let's take it out There you go. Better. So anyway, you can see from here, and I will give it a isopropyl clean. So just a little bit of uh, cotton, and then. I think if I move it around then you can see clearly. Okay, let's move it around here. Yep, that's better. Okay, that looks clean to me and now get another IC. This one you buy from me. This one you Okay, that's clean for me. So this is where we have removed the yeah. charging so IC. One. One, five, now, seven. before I do that, I would like to cover yeah, this one here anything. because this is underfilled. So, better be safe than sorry. Okay. Yeah. What is the I can take this one. Uh, just you, you keep it. Okay, I secure this properly. Okay, it's not Windows 10 or Windows 10 or Windows 10. Okay. Then you have to install the driver. Otherwise, you can't use it. Windows 10 can use it without install. Is it Windows 10? Windows 10. So, Windows 10. So I will put some flux and before that I maybe you can see a little bit here. This capster has got a little bit of flux bulbing here, so I will just I don't want this to come in way up. Okay. Good. Okay, and before we put new IC I would like to A little bit of flux here. We have some. Okay, that's enough. And let's get. Oh, come on. Did I lose one? Oh, yeah, it's here. Is this the new one or the old one? No, that's the old one. Yeah, this is the new one. Okay. And put it here. New one. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. That's close enough. Hold it as much close. Okay, that looks close enough to me. So, what do you think, guys? Is it gonna fix the problem? I think so. Otherwise, then I have to go back to the board view and the semantic diagram so, and then locate where the problem is. And there you go. And that's done. Okay, so let's remove so this. Okay, so should I give it a little bit of clean maybe, should I, okay. let's give it a little, little bit of clean, I don't want the place from where I worked look dirty after I finished it. So, uh, so this is the little bit of glue on the top that is left from heat resistive even though it's not gonna harm anything if I leave it here but still you know it's better you leave the area clean after you have finished your work Okay, so that looks all good to me. Let's give it a blow and uh, Yep, looks better. Sometimes this glue we came out from the heat of this tape I find is conductive. So just remove it if there is a little bit there. So that looks all good to me. Now you know what we have to do. I will make the display bigger here. So that am I going back? Here, here, here. Okay. So not what we have to do is to. So guys, what we have done so far is uh, we are not we were not getting the five volt. On, um, we were getting 3.8 volt on 5 volt line and first thing that was in the line was the charging port we have replaced the charging port but still it was 3.8 volt so as I told you before that could have been because of the U2 IC because that is then connected to the U2 IC if U2 IC is fault is somehow it was, we were not getting so now we have replaced the iPad Pro charging IC which is uh, 1610A3. Now look here back. So next thing we have to do is to check again if what if we are getting I will turn off the light so that you can see. Okay, so I will put here so that it won't. 
back. Let's uh, so that's ground and there are I think five pins there where we should be getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, see five volt, and it should also read five. Five and five. So now we have restored the line which was faulty because of maybe charging port or most probably the U2IC. And uh, it should work now. Let's put it back in the housing and see how it goes. Okay, so this is I have to put the logic board and there you go so the next thing I have to do even before mm. I can about my chair my mic is pretty sensitive you know you always hear this so this is the amp meter this is the first thing we would like to check I think you can can you read it here or maybe here anyway put it here so it should draw one amp Okay, so guys you can see here Can you see 4 volt and 1 amp? So it's charging now Okay, see 1.02 amp and 4.6 so it's actually charging now So now what we will do we will install the LCD and should be working fine So thank you guys for watching the video so on today's repair we have done ipad pro 9.6 we have replaced which was not charging we replaced the charging port we replaced the charging ic and finally we make it started working and charging so now before we go i just looked here and uh, um, the ipad is now turned on because maybe the battery was flat for some few months so okay so as you can see I shown you before it's charging fine so I press the home button and so working good it says okay uh, can you see yeah yeah it's charging now one person charge already So thanks guys, thanks for watching and uh, for the retail customers if you are out there and your iPad Pro or iPad Air which uh, they have uh, this common problem, battery problem, most uh, charging problem, charging IC problem and um, if you don't live in Hamilton I will leave a link you can send it to us. We are located in Hamilton city center in New Zealand. Thank you very much. Bye.